<laughs> Questions? We'll start with that. I know you're just uh, a few days into this, uh, but do you see yourself playing? Do you think about I'm probably going to be on the field in games in the fall, or has your mind gone that far? Right now my mind's really just focusing on uh, getting as good as I can at my position and preparing myself for that position. I'm not really thinking about uh, what am I going to do in the season right now. I'm just kind of focusing on the moment, getting through spring ball, and um, just getting better in the moment. Patrick Davis. Addison, it looks like you're getting some work at center. Uh, was that something you talked about with this, the, the coaches coming in, and or were you surprised by them putting you there first? I know they, they said you wanted, wanted you to learn the offense kind of inside out from there. Yeah, no, we didn't talk about it. It was uh, I got here, and they were like, here's ball. Here's how you snap, and uh, that's kind of how it went. So uh, it, it was kind of a shock, but uh, I think I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'm having fun with it. Uh, it's been fun so far, and it's it's just – it's been good because it kind of gives you a whole – it teaches you the whole line, basically. You know where everything is. You have to make the calls. So it's been good for me to kind of learn that position first. It will help me out with the other positions if I do learn those. So, What's been the adjustment with the tempo for you? How have, have you kind of gotten acclimated to that? It's definitely been a lot. They always told me they're like, it's, it's fast, it's fast, it's fast. And, it was fast when I got here. I feel like I've gotten used, uh, getting used to it, uh, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's definitely very, very helpful when, especially when you have two defensive linemen standing right up in front of you, not in a stance. Uh, so yeah, I, I've been adjusting to it and having fun with it. So. Most of the guys in this group are early enrollees. Um, that was not the norm a few years ago. What, what's, what was the discussion like for you, the, the trade-off of things that you could miss in high school last semester? How tough of a decision was that? It really wasn't a tough one for me. I've kind of been planning for it since freshman year. Uh, when, I first got, when I got my first offer, I talked with my parents, and I was like, all right, this is something I want to do. Uh, I want to go early in the spring because I'd, I'd seen the benefit of it, and uh, it was definitely a great decision for me. Just being able to get in here and have all this extra time to just adjust to college football. Uh, spring ball has been really good. Learning the offense, just acclimating to the tempo and the speed and just the aggression of SEC football. So uh, it wasn't something that I thought of last minute, like, oh, I'm going to go early. And I didn't really miss too much. The coaches let me go back to prom. So, and I'm going back to graduation. Two big things that I needed, and I got them. So, you had uh, mentioned on signing day in December what a phenomenal athlete Haven Jackson is. Have you seen that on display so far? Absolutely, uh, Taven. He's my roommate, and I love that guy to death. He is doing a fantastic job. Unbelievably great guy, uh, fantastic athlete. He's really showing it on the field. He's done a fantastic job of learning the offense. I'll see him every night. We'll sit in there. We'll go over plays. He'll go over signals. Uh, he's done a great job on the field, just showing his athleticism, and his knowledge of the game, and his ability to learn on his feet. So, Addison, you were already big before you got here, but I, I know they had to want to reshape you. How have you seen your body transform in the weight room with the nutritionist, all that stuff that, you know, you just don't have access to when you're at the high school level? Right. Uh, they, they have me on the maintain level right now, so I personally don't really have think I've seen it. Like, in me, people will tell me, they're like, oh, you look so much bigger. You look, you look good. But, um, my weight hasn't really changed. I've stayed between 315 and 320. Um, Is it a different kind of weight? Sort of. We've done the body scans, and since I got here, like before spring break, I had like gained a pound of muscle and lost a gain of fat, or lost a pound of fat. So I definitely feel better, for sure, with the, the nutrition that I'm on. Uh, they got me in eating, like force-feeding me, and uh, all the uh, – nutrition stuff like the meta or vitamins and uh, good foods they got me on so I definitely feel better for sure is there someone in the offensive line group or just anywhere on the team that you've kind of leaned on trying to transition into this up tempo and college ball as a whole probably Cooper Mays uh, 
he he's been really really good for me. Just uh, with him being the center and me um, learning center, he's done a great job of just like helping me when I need questions. There'll be times I'll be I'll be in the middle of like an inside run, and he'll just pull me to the side and tell me exactly how to do it. Like it's nothing, and he just does it all the time. And uh, he's done a really great job, and he's really helped me feel welcome in that position and made me more comfortable in that position, knowing that I have someone that's going to hit the sit there. They're not going to rush through it. They're going to sit there, take their time, and teach me what I need to know, and in a way that I understand. So, Cooper Mason. Austin and Ryan. I, I know the center, so the center thing was a, a surprise to you when you got here, but when you had a chance to sit back and think about you know, the versatility that that gives your game, uh, you know, you, Coach Ellerby's up here talking about Cade being a guy that can play tackle, guard, or center. And in the NFL, you know, when you look at the versatility, do you feel like, you know, hey, that's a wise decision for me to learn all these spots? Absolutely. That's why I'm enjoying center so much because it's really allowing me to learn other positions as well, especially guard positions and just the knowledge of everyone, what everyone's doing on the offensive line. Uh, the versatility of it's uh, really, really going to benefit me, and I'm really excited for that. How have you kind of dealt with the challenges so far of you know snapping and then and then having to do your job and, and what's what else is the biggest challenge about that position as far as just adjusting from playing on the edge to being right there in the middle? Yes, it was definitely extremely um, difficult to transition for me. I'm still struggling with it. The biggest thing for me is coming off and punching as you're snapping. Uh, right now, it's kind of like I snap, then punch. That's probably the biggest thing now, and then accurate snaps. Uh, each week or each, each practice, I've gotten better and better, so seeing that's definitely reassuring, and uh, hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be spot on. And you never did it in college camps or anything before? I had never snapped in my life. Yeah. Hey, Edison, I'm just curious, uh, what has been your favorite part about Knoxville so far? That's a good one. I'm not sure. I'd probably say it's not like a part of Knoxville. I'd probably just like being able to go out with friends and like go get dinner or go to the mall or go watch a movie or something like that. The freedom of being able to go do stuff with your friends really whenever you want. So other than having to play a position you've never played before in your life, has there been anything about this experience? You talked about planning to enroll early as, as, as early as your freshman year. Has there been any part of this experience other than that that's maybe been uh, an eye-opener or a surprise to you so far? Uh, I'd, I'd probably say I, I knew that SEC football was difficult, but I didn't know. So in high school, you get pushed on the offensive line, and I came here thinking, okay, we'll get some push, even on double teams, we'll get some push. No, you get no push. So that was an eye-opener to me, not being able to move someone as easily as it was. Uh, that's definitely been an adjustment for sure, but, yeah, that's probably it. Anything else? All right. Thank you, Ed. Thank you.